Local high school band getting stood up for a significant donation. Earlier this year, the Carmen Ainsworth Marching Band volunteered more than 30 people for the Warrior Dash in Genesee County. In exchange, the band's booster club was set to receive a $1,000 donation. But just a few weeks ago, the Warrior Dash closed down. And as TV5's Kate Nadolski found out, the booster club has yet to receive those promised funds. It's very disappointing and disheartening that a major company would do that to kids. The marching band at Carmen Ainsworth High School in Flint feeling duped. Obviously, they're hurt by that. Their first lesson they've learned of the school year, that their hard work volunteering at the Warrior Dash back in July to raise money will not pay off. Band Booster President Faith Johnson says they made an agreement with Warrior Dash run by Red Frog Events for 32 volunteers to work the Genesee County event for a total of seven hours. In return, the marching band would get a donation of $1,000. Band members showed up and did their job, but they never got their money. They closed operations and did not send our donation. It's been over a month now and they not only never got a check, but no explanation as to why. Now when we try to contact, there's no response, no answer, phones don't work. At first, the band was left without that thousand dollars they were counting on for essentials for this school year, like uniforms and flags. But a GoFundMe was made and they ended up raising even more. It originally had a goal of $1,000. Um, in less than six hours, we reached that goal. Regardless of the money, Faith has an issue with the ethics of what this company did. We're thinking that it's a lost cause at this point. Faith has a message for the parent company of Warrior Dash Red Frog Events. It's not right for you to say you're going to do something and enter into an arrangement with somebody and then not follow through. In Flint, Kate Nadolski, WNEM TV5.